All right, Scratch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we are, we're, we're covering something that the news media would never cover. And that's Donald Trump doing something with black people. So we'll be back. Scratch Pad. You know. Yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey, man, if you want to donate, link's right there on the screen. If you want to hit us with the cash app, PayPal, all this good stuff. If not, just like and share the content, man. Thank y'all for your donations. Look, Donald Trump was in Atlanta, Georgia. You understand? He was in Atlanta, Georgia. A-T- L. And look at the reception he got. This is Park Atlanta. This is Stoneman. This is Morehouse. This is Morris Brown and Austin. Isn't that great? So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. Thank we support you. Uh, we support you. you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please do. Now this is nice. So it's much more to the video, but I don't want to get struck. You know what I'm saying? Um, a bunch of things I want to say about this because I think that the mainstream media has this running narrative about Donald Trump, about how he's racist and he doesn't like black people and this and that. Um, quick story. I had, you know, um, I had some female in my car and, uh, we talked about it. She's very good, very good lady. Um, we talked about politics and it was very sad to see her so misinformed about a lot of things. And I can tell that she was using talking points from MSNBC to debate me with, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of stuff she said, it was regurgitated things that people were saying. And I had to correct on a lot of things. And I'm like, well, that's not what it was. But the, the craziest part is she was very good and she listened and Certain things, some things people just, you just can't shake them with. You know what I mean? You can't, you can tell them the truth and they just going to believe what they want. And this is the whole term of uh, your truth, my truth, and all this stuff comes from because they want people to feel a certain way and they just want them to feel that way. They don't care about the facts of the matter. You know what I'm saying? So with Trump going to Atlanta and going to Chick-fil-A or whatever, he, wherever he was, I believe it was Chick-fil-A. Um, and he talking to black people. I think some black people were fascinated seeing him and saying to themselves, well, he's not, he's not the monster that they say he is. He's really a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? And the way they, the, the way the media portrays this is like, he's this, I seen something on the view and they said that they want to put people back in slavery. And I said to myself, you cannot be saying that on television. No. How are you telling people that whether it's right or left, how are you telling people that people want to put you back in slavery? What? How long slavery was over? Yeah. Right, we talking like, oh my, like what, a hundred years, two hundred years, or something like that. Hundred years, uh, two, right? Three, three, 
Abraham Lincoln into slavery, or whatever, but it was over. But my thing is, mm-hmm. is they want to put you back in slavery? How, how, first of all, how could they do that? What, um, I mean, people would have to go along with it, right? Yeah. So if, if you're telling me that, well, I'm getting sidetracked anyway, but it's a constant gaslighting from the media about Trump and whatever else goes on. It's constant. It's, it's like over and over and over. They keep repeating the same thing, but they tell you that it's a free and fair election, but every one of these outlets are telling you not to vote for Trump, but they are, it's a free and fair election though. They literally are saying it before they never said this before it was, it was just, we got two candidates who's going to win now. And it's, you can't vote for this guy. They literally telling you who you can't vote for, even though they know that they don't supposed to do that. It's, it, it's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. And what really blows my mind is the fact that a lot of black people think that people are their friends. You have to ask yourself what, None of these people ever helped you before. Why do you think they're trying to help you now? They never helped you before. They always they always did some sneaky stuff. And now all of a sudden, they helping you now when it comes to Donald Trump? Now they're telling you the truth? They lied to you all these years. And now when it comes to Trump, they're going to tell you the truth now. Now the truth is being revealed. These people been lying to you and they're not going to stop. They're going to continue to do this until they get what they want. Simple as that. But him going to Chick-fil-A, I'm glad because I'm happy to see that Atlanta is opening their eyes. And this is just the beginning because y'all think that he went to Atlanta. He's going to go to every hood. I'm going to tell you right now. And hey, man, people love him there. The thing about it is that, you know, when narratives are being painted, there's always going to be uh, those people that don't go do their research or find out the information that's accurate and all that stuff. There's always going to be people that's not going to do that. Those are the people when you ask them the questions, or oh, how did you know that? Well, I heard it from such and such. Oh, well, I, I heard it from such and such. Oh, I seen it here. But you never really went and did your own research. It showed up on your feed, and then that's what you, that's what you, and you insinuated that, oh, yeah, this must be real because maybe this is big site that's verified and usually gives good information, all of a sudden now tells you the truth. But really, it just wants clicks. That's the type of generation we're dealing with today. You know what I mean? Uh, for Trump to go to and go go to Atlanta, what was it, Chick-fil-A you said? Yeah, Chick-fil-A in Atlanta. For him to go do that, that's great. You know what I mean? I think it's a very, very, very good campaign, campaign way of campaigning. Get out there to the people that, you know, they say that you don't really mesh well with. Go out there, you know what I mean? Show them that you do. You know what I mean? We've seen them do that twice already. We've seen them at that, what was that, uh, what was that, uh, that event that he was at with all, um, with all the people dressed in the suits? He yeah, is the Black Coalition Conservative okay. Black Coalition. Okay. See them do that. You see them at the Chick Fil A. You know what I mean? That's that's great. That's great because at the end of the day, the black vote is very very important. You know what I mean? I, and I do believe he realizes that. You know, um, I think it was great what he did. You know, I think it's great. You know, I hope he. I hope the as time goes on we have more politicians that do stuff like that. The real politicians, not the not the fake ones, the real ones. 
that wants to see the change, not the ones that just want to put money in their pocket. Well, so I don't yeah. think that was a bad. Idea. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. Um. I don't know, man. I think I just think that they want they want. Listen, let's just be clear here. I'm talking to black people. Mainstream media want y'all to hate Trump, but the narrative is a one is one thing that they're trying to push, but black people don't hate Trump. That's just that black people don't hate Trump. And I, and I, and I, and I'm seeing that now, but they want y'all to hate Trump. They saying, well, how could you like him? I was like, well, obviously if we seeing something that you not, then how can you tell us not to do something? I, I don't get it, but Amen. Sketchpad, you know what it is. See y'all. Peace. Bye. We out of here.